Fucking phone, changing the fucking orientation of the screen. I'm making it muy, uh, <laughs> making it muy hard. Yeah, because that's the way English works. Alphonse, my fucking god. to fucking write god damn it <laughs> this fucking gif is perfect <laughs> okay that gif is perfect i i i I regret nothing. <laughs> hey, hi there. I've been talking out loud for, for a while while I was tweeting the, the stream. I'm Alphonse and we are back with Dot Hug DU. Last free call. So let's continue it. I should have gone for some water, but I, I, I'm a stupid and I only have soda. So if my throat hurts, I will drink soda. And that will be stupid because then I will have to hold the burps and. Yes, I'm, I'm not the smartest guy alive. What the fuck did I have to do? Oh fuck, I opened the wrong window. How do you open the main menu on this game? It's been like two weeks since I played. Okay. Uh, no more. You need to talk to the NPC admin. Uh, head for canards at home Someone did something on my phone. Oh, they retweeted something Okay, uh, what else was I going to do? Blah 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 I'm going to log out and read some things because that's what I do on this game <laughs> apparently Apparently on dot hack do you Oh, I forgot I had that background. Let's see what news we have. Dream, dream, dream. Anonymity on the dark side of the uh, online games. The more children are captivated by video games, the more parents worry. There have been times when TV, movies and even books were said to be influencing our children in negative ways. However, with online games, children are interacting with a large, indefinable number of people in real time, providing a clear divis divisive line from the previous examples. With TV and movies, its restrictive ratings and parental supervision can and should be used, but it's not always that it's not always that way. But online, it is impossible to control the voices of the other players that these kids are exposed to. It is completely possible and if the parents don't do it, they are stupid pieces of trash that just want to get a fucking guilt... fucking... Uh, how, uh, how do you call it? A scapegoat. You can control the games you your kid plays. You can control who, the, uh, who your kids talk to. You can set boundaries and limits. It's only that the parents don't want to fucking do it. They just want a fucking scapegoat and say, Hey, the video games are bad. Video games are making my kid violent. A new report says that well over 90% of all grade school students who have tried an online game said that they had a bad experience in one form or another. I mean, online games and the gaming community in general is are, are pretty toxic so wh where's the lie in there half of that 90% said uh, that they become depressed 
when they remember these bad experiences. Again, internet is full of assholes. It's, it's no surprise. We should discuss the ill effects of allowing our young, socially developing children to play these games, games which involve complex human interactions under a veil of, in, uh, of, an, uh, of anonym, anonymity. God fucking damn it, I don't know how to talk today. Again, the problem is that parents don't give a shit about what their kids are doing, and then they need a, an escape route, so... <laughs> Whose fault is it? The parents, obviously. The spread of RMT. Online games turn some people into business people, however, you won't find them running a company, instead they too are just playing the game. In a New York suburb, uh, Mr. A has founded a business known as a guild, where he employs other players in a completely efficient mechanical pursuit to level up and gain items and earn money. But can you earn real life money with the, with the game? His guild then proceeds to sell the data his employees have gathered in online auctions to other players. With a motto of online games are our business, Mr. A sure to be a hot topic among players who merely is sure to be a hot topic among players who merely wish to have fun. Yeah, I mean there was a problem like that on World of Warcraft with uh, a raid object way back in the day. It was a raid object that only one people, only one person could have, or something like that. It was like the first person to complete this quest will get this object, and none, none of the other players will be able to get it, or something like that. It was a really, uh, it was a uh, time-based quest, if I remember correctly, or something like that. And they stopped doing that kind of uh, questing because. People started getting the the limited items and selling them in the real world or something like that. And they still do it. You can still buy items from World of Warcraft and other RPGs and other MMORPGs online if you know how to find them. Man, I remember people selling armors on, on eBay. Armors from World of Warcraft. And you had to get in the auction, and then they play with you and sell you the armor in the game. So you have to pay real world money and the game's money. And uh, they even put, if I remember correctly, they made uh, an auction system on World of Warcraft to avoid that kind of black market. Although many players don't go as far as to make it their profession, like Mr. A, there are a number of players who conduct RMTs as ways of supplementing their income. It's deplorable how so many players have forgone the pleasure of leveling up uh, their characters manually for the quick solutions offered by money. Wow, someone is talking about microtransactions, I see. <laughs> Again, remember this is a 2007 video game. Microtransactions weren't a thing, but they were on online games, like, for example, World of Warcraft, where you could pay to level up faster. Set a note, uh, a note online game developer. However, the game makers are also to blame, as they are the ones who design areas and events that only that can only be completed by putting in several hours of play. Uh, OM times? I don't know what OM times is. Uh, short for real money trading. RMTs are real money tradings. Okay. This refers to players conducting uh, transactions with a real money for data, such as virtual items, characters, and in game currency. Where have I seen that before? And welcome to whoever joined the stream. <laughs> uh, this throws off the game's balance and causes a host of other problems which has led to RMT becoming a banned activity for most games. 
I wish that was true, but it's not on the real world. Is this the last? Yes, it's the last article in news. Anti-allergen foods widely available. Several years after calls for borderless foods began, anti-allergen foods are now firmly in the public grasp. Uh, public's grasp. The anti-allergen foods section at the supermarket has expanded and well-known brands are selling well. Anti-allergen foods have had all substances that could trigger aller allergic reactions scientifically removed. Many of them are even designed without using any actual food stuff at all. <laughs> so can you still call it food? I don't think so. <laughs> Current examples include hamburger patties with no trace of allergy causing eggs or milk or even meat and uh, milk that have, has had its protein finely analyzed and its allergens repressed. And I would love that milk because uh, I'm kind of lactose intolerant but only in, in it doesn't give me the shites but it gives me migraines. Which is super weird because whenever I have lactose products, I get migraines. But with uh, with lactose-free milk, I don't have that problem. So the problem is the lactose, not the milk itself. Uh, parents of children with allergies are thrilled. We can relax and all eat the same foods with our kids. We have so many more choices when we go shopping. And our children couldn't be happier. I mean, I would buy that kind of food too. However, some people like Yamanate University's for, uh, professor Gang Inoue are ringing the warning bell, bells of breaking down borders. It's wonderful that people are working and cooperating so that everyone can eat equally. However, it's ironically far too dangerous to remove all dangerous properties from our foods. Today's dining table is a textbook example of a germ-free environment. Should the day uh, ever come when, for one reason or, or another, we find ourselves without access to these germ-free, other germ-free foods, we will find ourselves in a bacterial crisis which will threaten our every one of us. I mean, yes and no, because if you only use these products in case of the allergen that it's already giving you an allergic reaction is not a bacterial free thingy because let's say for example I only drink milk when it's lactose free milk I can have the other milks but I will have a fucking massive migraine after doing so like for example with cheese I like cheese, but I cannot eat too much cheese because the, the cheese has lactose and that lactose is going to give me a migraine. And the same goes with chocolate and with other things that have, that have lactose. So if I only replace the, the foods, the item, the edible items that have lactose, but not the other ones, we are not going to get to that crisis. Obviously, if the only things you eat are anti-allergen foods, then we can reach that problem. The name that antigens, uh, allergy-causing substances, are best known by. Common examples include eggs, milk, uh, blah, blah, blah. Where is this? Anti-allergen foods. Okay. And we are up to date with the news. News, 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 news. How much do I have left to read in the forums? I have the more news and rumors. I'm going to read the rumors and hopefully finish them. Golden Jet, rumors online, black point. This is a story I heard from a friend. While playing on the Lost Ground, black dots have been known to appear around your character. Apparently those are windows that connect to the world 
that connect the world to another dimension. And from inside then you can hear a girl saying, Hey, want to play hide and seek with me? Apparently if you say yes, you will be taken off to that alternate dimension. And if you say no or ignore her, the girl will get mad and curse you, leading to a traffic accident three days later. To escape successfully from the girl, you, are su you supposedly just have to say your mom's here to pick you up. If you do, the girl will ask, will ask you, what is she? To which then you reply behind you. Then you will hear the girl scream, followed by the black dots disappearing. Wow, that's fucking scary. Uh, my friend said that he had also heard this story from his friend, and that friend uh, probably heard it from a friend, and that other friend heard it from an online post. I thought this might be an urban legend, but which is why I posted. Uh, what do you all think? Oh no, so there's rumors like that too? I wonder if it's just a follow up to the little girl in the hole. It seems more like a ghost story than an urban legend. But I get the impression that this rumor isn't firmly established yet. If it started spreading around the world and real life, I kind of, I kind of get the feeling that the black dots uh, part of it will start disappearing like the little girl in a hole the important part of the rumor is the girl's voice either way thanks for an interesting rumor more keywords it seems that there have been an increasing number of rumors about online events having real life effects interestingly the world especially has been the center of many urban layers as of late, very similar to the ones that were told about Fantasyland, the amusement park that was said to be on holy uh, to be the holy ground for lovers. What the fuck? The amusement park that was said to be the holy ground for lovers. I kind of get the feeling that the black dots part would disappear. Uh, that may not necessarily be the case, when one thinks of the world's rumors, they think of the keywords uh, such as the girl in white, triage, the cathedral, and comas. But recently there have been more and more stories about the black dots. The black spot rumor are, uh, are nothing uh, more than a follow up to all the other rumors. However, the important thing to focus on is not the genealogy of these rumors, but the reason why the keywords black dots have gathered prominence as rumors. As for this topic, I plan to wait and see how things develop for a while. He too, agree he too agrees with this until next time. What the fuck is this post and who wrote it? Encephalon. Wait, isn't Encephalon Pi? Yeah, I think Encephalon was Pi. Uh, most of the people you find on the forums are characters in the game that you meet. And I think Encephalon was Pi. That's why you see the he too agrees. Hey, Max Apodeca. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to see you back here. Uh, well, that's like a textbook example of an urban legend. Among the rumors I know, the black dots are the souls of players, of those who have fallen into a coma, who have been sucked into the game and hover around the players in an attempt to increase companions. There seems to be a number of recurring patterns just like the girl in white and triage. I think I might have an idea about where the black dots rumor come from came from before Kin uh, Crimson Barsus uh, Ser uh, service went down there apparently was some trouble with black spots appearing in the game screen the official report was that uh, I was that it was merely a mistake in the game's effect ID but the players were saying it was because Crimson Barsus servers 
had become infected with a virus, thus resulting in display of bugs appearing. It's not a far cry to say that the, that the spots talk about their could pass for the dots where we are talking about here. Not to mention both of them uh, were black, so do you see where I'm going? Yeah, that you are fucking racist, probably. So do you see where I'm going? Judging for the, uh, from the time the rumors began, the theory is impossible. The period in which black spots were spotted in Crimson Versus was a very brief period of, a period of time, right before the service went down about six months ago. In contrast, the black dot rumors have been around since the beta services, uh, service release for the World R2. Those rumors are just never spread very far. I need to change the way I'm sitting because it's really uncomfortable and it's hard to read and talk uh, the way I was sitting. That's why the rumors had to have come from somewhere else. At the moment I happen to be investigating that very area. If I find anything out I'll be sure to post it here. To Encephalon I send you some new rumors via email. Looking forward to your analysis and eventual post. Nuada. Understood? He too is fired up. We'll get right down to it. He too is fired up. He agrees. Who's that he in Zephal? Nanasemitabi, in contrast, the black dot rumors. Uh, blah blah blah. Oh, I had no idea. Sorry for jumping to conclusions. Oshino 8 Cs. Good evening, hi Moshino HCs, you seem to be having a very interesting discussion. I've heard the rumors about the black dots, however, the rumor I heard wasn't about black dots, but about black windows. The only thing different was that it specifically was said to come from beyond the window. The fact that something came from beyond the dots in itself, in of itself, is exactly the very same. Very interesting indeed. This is the first time that I've heard on... Um, I wonder if these rumors began to deteriorate somewhere. Uh, Encephalon names. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Something happened. Oh, yeah, joking in Twitter. Names, uh, most common is black dots. After that, we have black windows and black doors. Rumor pattern. First stage is the actual contact with the dots, the second stage is the occurrence of harm, example, being PK'd by triage, your real life self and your game character switch places, however, there are also rumors where non-harmful phenomena have been said to occur, meeting a deceased friend or a relative, etc. in the, in the second stage. The rumor of the black dots themselves also causing harm is something that came up recently. The ones who started to uh, the ones who started those rumors are younger are the younger generation of players in the world. It may not be much, but this is about all I know for now. I wait further information. Perhaps it's because I rushed, but I'm rather tired. I'm going to sleep along with him for a bit later. Who the fuck is he? And Stefan, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let's look for a short one to read. Long. Too long. I don't care. Way too long. Too long. Come on, give me a short one. Okay, nope. I don't care. News? Okay, enough reading for now. I've been reading for half an hour again. Let's play the game. <laughs> As usual on this game, we have a lot to read. <laughs> but the, the the sooner we finish, uh, the the sooner we we not have to do it until we go to the next volume where we will have to read a lot on the beginning of the game again. Okay, I have to go to the at home and talk to the headmaster or something like that.
I'm walking instead of teleporting because I want to see if I meet any other players. For example, like... Um, I don't remember their names. It's been too long since I played. <laughs> My god, what has been? Like, two or three weeks since I played for, uh, the last time this. Man, job is really sucking the life out of me. I cannot remember any of the names of the characters. Man, the two guys that thought that we were a noob, I don't remember their names. Oh my god, that that is awful. I don't remember their names. I, the only name I remember is Pi, to be honest, and it's, it's the weirdest name. I remember Haseo's name, I remember Atoli's name, but I don't remember the, the green guy's, uh, the green hair guy uh, name, and I don't remember the tiny creature, pink creature name. Should I just look at the... <laughs> yeah! Kung, Pi, Syllabus and Gaspard. My fucking god, and here I was trying to... I don't know... Remember the name somehow. I'm Grunty! You're Haseo! Boy. So you're the new guild master, Oh my god, master, this huh? again. An NPC? Yeah, that looks exactly my like you. Death Grunty, of the Grunty race. I'm Death the manager Grunty. of this at home. Boink. I won't accept someone like you. <laughs> He's Boink. like a Haseo wedding huh? Grunty. <laughs> Managing a guild requires good instincts and talent. Boink. I'm gonna test you to see if you've got them. Boink. I don't okay, have patience I'll enough for this Boink. shit. So move yeah, quickly. If you can clear both of these assignments, I just might consider accepting you as the guildmaster. Oink. Here's your first assignment. That is a passive, a bit passive aggressive for you. Grunty race. Grunty's hat. Grunty's shoe. Grunty's brush. You need to cooperate with your guild members to gather these. Oink. My companions hold the sacred treasures. Oink. If you get down on your knees and beg sincerely, I'm sure you can get him to lend the treasure to a lowlife like you. Boy. My companions are wandering can around the city. Can I just kick him? Like, like the team teams? Can I, can I kick him? I don't like him. I don't like this obnoxious weird rodent at all. It's like Claptrap. <laughs> I really want to kick him. I guess Grunty's event started. What event are you talking about? It's the Guildmaster Certification Event for our guild. It's really when you first annoying. Become a guild master. Grunty gives you an assignment. I don't want to run errands for a stupid NPC. Then like, why are you playing you an MMO event, game? <laughs> it's you, all you do on MMO games. Run errands for features. stupid NPCs. So, what kind of trial were you given, Haseo? He told me to find some rare items. I don't think I had a trial like that. Fine, whatever. I can get those items if I just find that thing's companions in the town, right? I'll finish this up in no time. Good luck, Haseo! We're counting on you! I mean, it said that I had to work with the others in the guild, but... The cursor maps indicate... Uh, the cursors on the map indicates the location of the Grantis. Oh fuck it, I'm going to teleport. I don't have time for this yet. Which one is the... Yeah, that is the most far away one, so... I'm going to teleport there. And then to the port one. Or can I walk to the port one? Oh, too far away. Let's find this one and get the item and then whatever. Gao, Grunty. <laughs> the sun sets again today. <laughs> <laughs> I have an old man voice. <laughs> How romantic. 
<laughs> and with myself standing in the twilight, I am the ultimate man. <laughs> Are you? Hey, you're pretty manly yourself. <laughs> but you're no match for me. <laughs> okay, you're super manly. Mm -hmm. Give me your fucking so item. You want to obtain my manliness for yourself? <laughs> no, sure. I said item, no manliness. <laughs> Room to be even more manly. <laughs> okay, I got the hut. You need to work hard until the sunset has burned itself into your eyes. <laughs> this grunty is near. This grunty just wants to uh, wants to be super manly and look at the sun until it burns your eyes, which is going to happen right now. I say, look at the sun, stop looking to the sides, look at the sun, become the ultimate man. Or not. Maybe you can just go away and find the other items. <laughs> oh my god, I have to put uh, the grunty on the thumbnail. That would be amazing. If it is the only thing I do on this episode, I'm going to put the grunty on the thumbnail. <laughs> If I find an image of the Grunty, because there are no, there is not a lot of uh, content about this game online. Welcome to the ship of Twilight, Haseo Nero. Why do you say Nero instead of been waiting for you to come instead here of for Oink? a long time, Nero? So move. Is this the Grunty from? Hmm. I know just what it is that you're from the for. from the Raven Guild. For me to guess, I think Go this is the Grunty from the Raven Guild. Grunty's fresh. Be well, well, it looks like the Grunty from the Raven's Guild. Man, you can imagine how this was uh, back in the day with a really slow walking herself. Melo Granty. It feels like the river is sucking in my soul. Oh, you. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Oh, you. My grandma said that there's a palace for fishes at the bottom of the water. Oh, you. Man, Granties are so I'm sure annoying. I can tuna and smoke salmon swimming happily there. Oh, you. I want to go. Pew, you. Hmm? They are really annoying. You want something? Who are you? <laughs> I think I smell death grunty on you. <sighs> no, nasty. The smell tells me that you want something. Who are you? You want this, right? Who are you? Yes, stop making that noise. It's really annoying. Well, goodbye. Who are you? Fucking hell. Oh, I want to go to the palace of fishes. Ooh, you. I can Just help you with that. I can drew. kick you in the back and, Ooh, and send you. you to swing with the fishes if you want. Finally got the third one. Man, what an annoying event. <laughs> yeah. Now I just have to give these items to the even more annoying death grunty. Okay, man, I can't wait to get the bike. <laughs> this is faster than on PS2, but it's still too slow. With the bike, was way faster. Especially on Makanu, because there are other towns on this game that are more narrower. Are more narrower, no. More narrow or narrower. <laughs> but not both. Uh, but yeah, there are towns on this game that are narrower than this one, so... It's just that Makanu is fucking enormous, so... Okay, fuck you guys. I'm Grunty, you're Haseo. I already know you're that. Wait, oink. What took you so long? You're as slow as a pig. Oink. Come on, hurry up and give me the sacred treasures. Oink. Here. I'll give you this in exchange. Oink. Weird black teeth. Here is your second assignment. Oink. 
sell that item with the help of your guild members. Oink. Now Are you telling going. me to sell drugs? Are you just Perfect. giving me black You're weed and, and telling me to sell it on the street? I'm not gonna be a vendor again. I know well, you're gonna be a drug seller. Why not? You were so good at it before. Okay then, I'll be the vendor instead. I mean, if you, you want to get detained. The menu. If you talk to Death Grunty, put the item that Death Grunty just handed over to you into the shop stock list. Tutorial. I'll do my best to try and sell the item. So just sit back and I wait, shouldn't be Haseo. shouting. Oh, it's and be sure to come collect the money in by the stopping night. by the guild shop in the shouting. central district, okay? What? What do you mean? Why do I have to go collect the money? <laughs> I just imagine one, one of my of neighbors hearing for no fucking reason someone yeah, shouting tutorial and it was weird. Fine then, I'm sorry I'll do neighbors, it. I'm sorry. Select the guild shop from the Granty Stalk menu and place the weird black tea up for sale. At home is a facility that allows guild members to meet and interact. Please use it for various guild functions. Also, talk to the manager, Death Grunty, to use various functions within it. Oh, it's Haseo. What can I do for you? Oink. Guild shop. You can pick the items you would like to display the guild shop. You can sell the items in the guild shop at a higher price than selling them to the shops in town. If you say so. But I have to sell the the black tea, the weird black tea. Uh, weird black tea. All right, let's go see a spot in the town square and now, and see how the items have been selling. I mean, you only put the weird black tea on the list, so I don't think he's selling much. Uh, central thingy in town. Oh my god, I'm too old. I'm getting tired. I'm too old. I'm used to going to sleep early. And by early, I mean midnight. And it's half past ten, and I'm already tired. Oh my god, you again? the kid who came to the shop the other day. Bo, right? I'm Is it Bo? I'm so glad to see you. I wanted to give you the rest of the money, you know, that I owe you from the other day. Don't worry about that. I gave you the discount. But... Quit being stubborn. Just shut up and accept my goodwill. Thank you. I think oh that I... God. I really like that about you, Haseo. What, that I give what discounts? What the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, you know, that's just what I think anyway. <sighs> so, uh, what are you playing today? Are you a store clerk again? No, I'm not. Well, something like that. Do you know about guild masters? Yep. Probably more than you. Well, now I'm one. I'm in the middle of one of those events. So, you're a guild master. Way to go, Haseo. Well, it's not like uh, he earned it. Yeah. It's just that these two stupid guys oh, just okay, said, then. "Hey, you are a guild master now." You sold the weird black tea to to the weird kid. You completed Granty's assignment. Congratulations on completing the Guildmaster Wait, event. Wait, do you Haseo? see those windows too? Yay! Congratulations, Haseo. You too, Gaspar. Hey, you didn't. Have I to thought go I was by. crazy. Jeez, it's fine, really. I just, I just wanted to help you out, Haseo. But what is wrong with your voice? It, you sound like an adult Shut trying up to sound like a kid. my goodwill, all right? <laughs> Oh, I see. Goodwill, huh? Well, thanks. What the? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Did you just see? Did you just see part fucking rolling Dark Souls style? Or was it my fucking brain telling me I have to go to sleep? <laughs> What the actual fuck? 
Gaspard, are you okay? I, I think the problem was that Gaspard spawned right on, on here. And what I saw was Gaspard spawning on the de on the box and falling from the box because he was not supposed to be there. I don't know, I will have to check that if I remember to check it, but my god. <laughs> One thing I want to do is get uh, do compilations of stupid moments like that. But I'm too lazy to check my own streams to make the compilations. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Grunty, I know that. Now hurry up and hand over the dough! Hand over the dough? Sell the weird black tea? You really sound like a drug seller. Come on now, don't get angry. Don't get angry, it's just an stupid NPC. But I won't me playing every video master, game, that part right? of me hasn't changed. I might be willing to employ you as my servant. Like, I swear <sighs> God, I'm going to fucking murder you. That's the kind of response it gave me when I became the guildmaster too. It's a pretty weird event. So the guildmaster is always a pain in the ass. That's right. It's not because it's called being Haseo's personality. It's just an event. It's just an event. It's just clap trap. appropriate for a servant such as you. Right? Did you just smack me in the face? Charm of Thousand attached to Haseo. What do you think you're doing, you pig? I'm not a pig. I'm a grunty. You sound like that a pig. That charm I put on you is something you should be grateful for. It'll monitor your every little move. Why would you it's want that? It's been carved inside you, so there's no way you can remove it. This way, I can tell exactly how hard you're working for my guild. Your it guild. The charm of 1000. Like. All right, Haseo. Work for my guild like the workhorse that you are. Like. I'm a workhorse? No? What the fuck? Unlock the Book of 1000. The Book of 1000 is a register that tracks the player's actions during their adventure. It keeps records uh, such as the number of treasure boxes open. Monsters defeated, etc. When each record reaches a certain level, a reward is given you. Uh, it's given by the Grunty. In addition, progressing the records in the Book of One Thousand will eventually raise your guild's rank. The guild-related bonuses are handed out uh, when you increase your guild rank. Talk to the Grunty to check the status of the Book of One Thousand. So wait, I cannot check it from my menu? Alchemy Factory is now available. This passage leads to the Alchemy Factory where weapons can be strengthened with the use of alchemy. Oh yeah! Hey, Haseo, you can probably ride the steam bike now. Finally! That's true! I'm pretty sure that the condition for getting and riding the steam bike was to clear the first Grunty event. So wait, Haseo never ride, uh, never rode the steam bike before? Go on and give it a shot. It's a lot easier to move around the cities and fields with one. Just press a square when you're in the city. And of course, uh, Gaspar doesn't talk. The book of 1000 is composed of 8 books. So it's not one book, it's 8. Uh, progress of each record is represented as a rank. Increasing the rank of all books will lead to an increase in the guild's rank. For example, if all of the books are at second rank, the guild rank will go up to 2. Check the book of 1000 frequently and increase your guild rank. Wow, that was fast. I'm giving you a reward based on your rules, uh, on, based on the rules uh, set by the guild management committee, oink, be thankful, oink. Add it to the desktop. Oh, oh one pay wallpaper, one and two. And background music, so this is how you get it. Oh, I forgot about that. Battles won, surprise attacks, Rengeki's awakenings, trades, party member interactions, gifts, beast temple treasure boxes and objects, weapons, armors, and accessories, playtime. 
Arena matches. Ogre, Demon, Sea Monster, Supernatural, Avian Plant. This is the type of monster I'm killing or discovering. And drive time. And the number of crashes. Seriously? Wow, thank you. Oh, you two and you again. Here you can use alchemy to combine equipment and raise their abilities. Alchemized equipment will have a plus one or plus two tag after its name. This is alchemy level that can be raised up to five. Chronos Spike plus Chronos Spike, Chronos Spike one. You must first select the equipment to alchemize and then use the supplement item. However, ultra rare equipment with a rarity of five cannot be alchemized. The abilities that are added on the supplement items will be disengaged and returned to you as material. Um, alchemy of value, uh, alchemy value of zero and zero is alchemy value of one. One and zero makes two. Two and zero makes three. So zero counts as one. Equipment with the maximum alchemy value of plus five can be alchemized a uh, supplement item to the same type of higher equipment level. A Spin Koga plus Chronos Spike 5 makes a Spin Koga 1. However, it cannot be used if the difference in the equipment level is over 10. So you cannot, see, you cannot make uh, a really strong weapon stronger by using low level materials. Equipment to alchemize and equipment to add can be chosen from the item party main means blah blah blah. Hey. Fucking hell, shut up, let me do it. Oh, it's Hase, what can I do you for? Oink. Uh, talk. So, you want to alchemize? Oink. You have some nerve for a fledgling, oink. Fuck you. Uh, poison Gaigu. Blade Fern. I mean, this cannot be used as a supplement weapon since the weapon type is different from the alchemized weapon. Oh, so I cannot do anything. Fuck it. Hello? Can you hear me? Boy. Sadly, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Where are you talking to me from? Your empty brain. Don't bother looking for me, boy. I'm using the charm I affixed to you. To talk directly into your brain. Oink. Your empty brain. Oink. Wow. Now don't sweat the small stuff. Press the square now. Who are you to order me around? Did you say something? Oink. You can hear me? Yeah, of course he can. I know everything. Oink. Don't bother trying to hide from me. Now go ahead and press the square, you idiot. Oink. I can do everything but talking on text that has a button on it. Oink. Oh, the steam bike. And my first trophy, Brookie Rider. The basic controls are press X to accelerate and a square to brake. Oink. Use the left stick to change the direction. Oink. Press a square after coming to a complete stop to get off the steam bike. Oink. The button guide in the lower right corner of the screen will always be displayed, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Oink. Unless you are stupid, oink. I love the design on the steam bike. It's really cool. So, is the grunty event finally finished? Is it? Man, I'm so tired. I think I'll log out and check my email. Or maybe, I don't know, eat something, drink something. You cannot ride the steam bike inside the Makanu Dome or a dungeon. Ram the steam bike into monsters on the field before being spotted to inflict damage. Greeting cards are handed to you as a bonus for complete for becoming a guild master. This can be used via the melee station on the desktop. More greeting cards can be earned as a reward for meeting certain conditions on the Book of Thousand. I want to ride the bike for a bit. Okay, so the speed is not that bad. It's Almost as I remember the bike. I don't think they changed the speed of the bike. 
I think the speed is the same. And I... Yeah, it's... It's hard to turn. It's hard to turn the bike, as I remember. It's funny because when you are going slow, the bike is super noisy, but... When you're going fast, it's make, it makes no noise at all. What the fuck? How did I do that? Oh! I didn't know there was a quick turn. That is a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm a newbie, I don't know how to control this bike. Fuck! I think you can make the bike even faster? But yeah, it's louder when you're stopped than when you're moving, which is really weird. I'm going to save. I don't want to repeat the Grand event. Okay, oh man, I've been playing this for six hours. Wow. And almost an hour now. Log out. And check the email. What new backgrounds did I get? Randomized wallpaper. Indian Ocean, party, nice to meet you. Haseo first form. Mm. Cool. Animation Haseo. Even cooler. This is how Haseo looked in the anime. In Dot Hack Roots. And as a tiny spoiler, uh... oh, this is the music. As a tiny spoiler, this is Shino from Dot Hard Rooks. PKK, Chin Chin. You know what? Randomize. I I want to get a spook sometimes. Each time you return to the desktop, uh, desktop. A new wallpaper will be selected at random from the files you have. Proceed? Yes. Uh, feel sunny. Yeah, this one is cool. Let's see the email. Oh, more news? Fuck you! This is a message card with limited, with a limited number. Send it to your friends to find out more about them and increase their affection for you. However, you cannot send the same one to the same individual. How are you? You are the greatest. This is very cute. It makes for a cute gift. I don't know. Again, this franchise is really not that well known. And there are not a lot of fan arts and gifts and it's very hard to find material on, on this franchise. How are you to Gaspard? Um you are the greatest to myself? No, to Atoli. Why not? There is a new email. Maintenance complete. Dear Haseo, thank you for your regular patronage. Blah blah blah. The maintenance on Lumina cloth is now complete. We are terribly sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Lumina cloth is now accessible from the Chaos Gate. Uh, town menu. 
the main attraction in Luminous Palace are the three arenas known as Demon Palace, Holy Palace and Sage Palace. We hope you will enjoy uh, enjoy the player matches host in the arena. Cool, more tutorials. Oh no, Salvador Aihara again. <laughs> Salvador Aihara's email exposed. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Okay, let's end the stream with Salvador Aihara and his wonderful articles. The email address and cell phone number of popular talent Salvador Aihara were spread across the internet after the, uh, he gave them to a female player in the online game The World. Salvador was forced to change cell phones. Dude, you're fucking stupid. The girl insists that she never leaked his phone number. Evidence taken from her pr computer proving that she never posted on a forum or a chat room corroborates this, uh, her story. The NAV Network Administrative Bureau plans to investigate the whisper. Uh, plans to investigate the whisper, a feature in the world that lets players send uh, in-game texts only to select players. Conversation held between Aihara and the girl. Uh, to see, oh, the whisper conversation between Aihara and the girl to see if it was somehow hacked. Impulse. So there is no, no, oh, interesting. No, no article in there. Okay, let's check the forums then. Oh, there's new things on Apkalu? That That is nice. Team Team. Oh my god. I love Team Teams. Wait. Didn't I... Didn't I read this one before? I love Team Teams. I've never drawn a picture before, but here's my best, my best shot. I'm Casubolo, The Last Hope. I just found my first Team Team just a little while ago. Oh no, I didn't read this one. Uh, hey, uh, hey there, I'm Castobolo, the last hope. I just found my first team team just a little while ago when they all came falling down and wittily, I am wittingly panicked and froze before I could ent entertain any thoughts of kicking them. Because of it, I only managed to kick a single team team. How cute, lol, team teams are so cute, aren't they? I'm fond of them too. Team boss. He's always with his same face. My fucking god, the fun art. It's really annoying that the game has fun art inside the game and that there is no fun art outside the game. It's really hard to find fun art of this game. I'm glad to have you, you are cool and cute boss. Please boss, let me kick you next. Bro, I'll follow you forever bro. And I'm not Kazubolo. Do you want us to point that out to you or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> Vehicle. I never want to ride a bike like this. No. It's horrible no it looks like it will hurt your butt after a while i got the impression that you will need a lot of balance to write something like this i mean kinda if you write it on your knees probably if you write it on your knees that sounds super sexual please don't take it out of context Uh, this is me and my girlfriend, and yes, in real life, I'm not delusional or anything. It's not that I don't like it, but personally, I wish she would have picked a character with more sex appeal. Beasts aren't either bad either, though. What do the rest of you guys think? That you're a furry? Probably. And your girlfriend is clearly a furry, and, and you are becoming one. My humble self. You know, for some reason, 
I have no problem whatsoever being a, seeing a beast type and a human type acting romantic in the world. That's what I think, personally. I think you look really good together. As for me, I'm off for another solo adventure. <laughs> and by that, I mean I'm going to masturbate furiously right now. <laughs> My wife refuses to play anyone but male characters. I think this is a lot better than that. <laughs> Gamer husband. <laughs> Gamer husband. Are you dating my wife? Are you dating Nea? <laughs> no, she plays a lot of uh, female characters too. She she likes to play female characters, but she also loves to play with male handsome, really manly characters. I love ge Beast Girls. I get the feeling that there are a bit too many sexy characters in the world these days anyway. So just the other day I saw a guy escorting a bunch of girls in town. It was like his, his own private, uh, private harem. Yeah, totally cool. Personally, I would love to bond with a girlfriend who is a beast. Unfortunately, I don't have a girlfriend, lol. Yeah, I, I wonder why. I think she's cute. Yes, she is cute. But for some reason, I feel like I want to tease her. Oh, uh, guys, this is going to places we shouldn't go. Just be glad you have a girlfriend, okay? <laughs> be glad with what you have. <laughs> yeah, usual conversation on a, on a forum for a video game. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help but laughing at this because it seems so desperate. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, no one here minds these players? Well, I guess she's pretty cute, lol. By the way, uh, Dendero, are you talking about a guy with long blue hair and yellow clothes? I saw someone like that at Magano recently. I couldn't help but stare at the sheer amount of girls until my girlfriend smacked me. Yeah, that is cool. For sure, it's cool. Yeah, I think that's it. It's true. I see him a lot around my channel, guild shop area. He's always with different girls whenever I see him. So I also get kind of jealous. That was uh, that's what my lonely self thinks. Anyway. Ah, wait, it's liquid. I have to uh, I have to get in in character because it says liquid. <coughs> a snake! Did you like my sunglasses? It doesn't sound like liquid. Fuck off. God, what the hell? So you were really just bragging about her all this time? I see how it is. Damn you, snake! Why would you have to go and make me jealous? Now I want a Metal Gear. It doesn't sound like liquid, but I don't care. Wait, there is no more? Oh, I thought there was more fan art. See what's new in your world. Redmark from Kaina. Talk Kaina. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long time since I've been to the cathedral. Whenever I go there, no one is there. I heard it's perfect for thinking. Anyway, my ramblings don't matter now. I do have a question though. There's a weird mark on the cathedral's art store. How long has that been there? And uh, what does the mark mean anyway? Does anybody know? Now that you mention it, there is a mark isn't there. I thought maybe I, it had something to do with getting ready for a quest or, or event, am I wrong? That mark just showed up one day, I don't know when. Getting ready for a quest or an event, normally I would agree, but I can imagine how that could be used. I think I got it, when you investigate a monster, when you investigate it, a monster comes out and you have to fight it, wrong? Isn't it impossible to fight a monster there? It's really a small it, it's really small and there is no room for a battle area. Maybe if it is transported <laughs> there is no room for a battle area, you don't know how wrong you are. Uh maybe if it is transported if it if it transported you somewhere else. I don't know how to read. Uh yeah that must be it. Too easy. 
According to rumors, it's called Sign or something. The details are clear. Asking CC Corporation, pretty useless if you ask me. Those guys uh, are notorious about secrets. Anyone opening chests? How do I do it? Kick them open, read the manual. Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. Haven't you press, uh, play it, uh, sell that breath of the wild? You kick the chest and it opens. It's just like that. I just started playing. I just started playing. Started. I, I guess that Nemon's first language is not English. I just started playing the world two weeks ago. I know that you normally just kick them, but there are some that don't open when you kick them. Huh? Details, please? I just punch in... I just punch in some area words. I just punch in some area words at random and one uh, wound up in a cave. At the back of it, there was a treasure. I kick it, but nothing happened. There was no system message and the treasure chest didn't change at all. Absolutely nothing happened at all. That's a bug. Maybe... Uh, maybe it's some kind of event? Was there anything else strange about the cave? Like monsters or something? It was a narrow dungeon with only one path. There were several monsters. There was a one... There was one treasure chest. Area war, bug, you've been home? Area ward. What's the area ward for that place? Da da da. Nice. Got gang. Okay. I was out in the field and got killed by a PK. I couldn't do anything. She took everything, but I don't care. She was absolutely gorgeous. My god. Masochist. Fucking piece of shit. Not only did she take some of my items, but it seems that she has stolen away my heart. Oh my god, you stupid masochist bastard. She's a tribal gl uh, grappler named Lele. Does anyone know? Uh, anyone here know her? Please, someone? I have to know more about her. We've discovered an idiot here, an idiot among us. <laughs> idiot alert! We have an idiot here! That's probably Poison user Lele, Chaotic TK. She's a pretty famous player in that area. I'm sorry, but what are Chaotic TKs? It's a group of seven players chosen by CC Corps uh, from among the player killers. To explain a little further, the world ran a campaign called Bounty Hunter Campaign, where players uh, play the roles of Bounty Hunters and TKs. Chaotic TK refers to the most evil and merciless of the bounties. They are also called blacklisters because they are on the blacklist of bounty hunters. Don't you fucking tell me. How do you become a bounty hunter anyway? To become a bounty hunter you need to clear the quest bounty hunter test that shows up in the quest room every so often. Cha chaotic equals evil. Oh, you, we, ha we have a fucking philologist here. Uh, it's a lot harder to become a chaotic TK than it is to become a, a hunter. That's for sure, CC Corp seems to do a survey to gather uh, contest uh, contestants, then chooses one on only the PKs that have superior track records. It's just something I heard, so I don't know if it is really true or not. Superior? What's that supposed to mean? It means that they kill like crazy. I stole items like crazy. There are some scary people over here. Her correct name is Poison Lele, not Poison User Lele. Oh my god, Iso, you are a stupid asshole. So the current chaotic PKs are following are the following, right? Greedy Cervantes from Soul Calibur, Miku the Liar from Vocaloid, Genji the Fatal from Fatal Fury, I don't fucking know. Fiery Genie 5, which is uh, the... It's Jafar from Kingdom Hearts, but it's not the Jafar from Kingdom Hearts, it's just 5 uh, Grampies pretending to be Jafar. That's why the 5 is in there. 
Spyro 2 The Mud Eater, that is just Axel from Kingdom Hearts <laughs> eating mud for some reason. Don't don't ask why. Poison Lele, that that is Poison Lele. She, she is from this game. An Immortal Goriki. No one knows who, who Immortal Goriki is. I heard that Mud Eater and the Liar were killed. They were removed from the blacklist. So Miku is back on Vocaloid and, and Axel is back on, on Kingdom Hearts. The turnover rate is pretty high. They are monsters, all of them. The hunters that hunt those monsters are the real strong ones. Although the odds are that those hunters get killed themselves. So Train Dog, if you really want to meet Lei Lei again, you should become a bounty hunter. If you are lucky, you will catch her. I think I'll pass. <laughs> I love this fucking game, I really do. In fact, I love it so much that I'm going to keep playing for a while more. Like half an hour more or something like that, because I, I want to keep playing. Man, this game is so great. I have to draw, uh, I have to paint Axel eating mud. <laughs> I have to paint a lot of things. Where do I have to go? Uh, to town, Lumina stuff. And welcome to Las Vegas. Hey, move it. Oh, shut up. Huh? Hey. What are you doing in this? Now, what are Hussain? you doing here? Do you usually come to the arena? Have you ever participated in one of their events? No, never. Whoa, really? You mean the terror of death has never participated? Well, PKK and arena battles have nothing to do with each other. I don't care much about showing off for the crowds and competing for ranks anyway. Actually, the arena is related to PK in a way. Related? I mean, people After kill each other on started the arena. Having problems so. with rampant PKs, they decided to create an official place for player battles. By using the arena, they attempted to restore morale and stability attempted to the world. Attempted is the word. But it ended up turning into just another place for all the rude players, like the player killers, to hang out. That's how it got started. Yeah, Paseo, it's a place where assholes meet. I think it would be good for you to learn a little bit more about what's going on in the world, you know? The arena has three classes. It's funny that Haseo is palace, like, I'm not a noob, palace, I've been playing this since palace. the beta. And Haseo knows nothing about the arena, Haseo knows nothing about guilds, Haseo knows nothing about the stores, Haseo only knows about killing monsters and killing people. Hey, isn't it about to start? You're a fucking noob, Haseo, admit it. Start. Hey, the Emperor of the Demon Palace is going to be participating in today's title match. The what of what? He's something of an eccentric, so he rarely fights other than to defend his title in the tournament. Wow! I think I've seen that guy on the screen before. I wonder where. Oh, you bloodthirsty man! Drawn to this place by the thrill of the fight! Wow, that's really misogynistic of you. Can you feel their violent excitement? All you bloodthirsty men, just men. Come here lusting for the Emperor's throne! Let You're the Demon asshole. Palace title match begin! Well, it's time for the title match to begin! They have taken out opponents after opponents, and now they reach their arms up to challenge the sky itself! They look as if they're proclaiming dominance over the focus of the public! The they only look like they're the poorly drawn and All they've got going on is their size. That's what you think. These Those guys have actually improved quite a bit. That team's popularity is shooting through the roof! Uh, who is fighting them? He's here! Welcome to a better design CGI cutscene. Oh, look, it's the guy with a cut on his shoulder. Yay! That guy is. The one playing with the black dots. The one playing with Ada.
and for some reason he glows. He's the emperor? Yep, that's the undefeated emperor himself. Emperor Endrance. Endrance, huh? And now he doesn't glow. Oh, Master Ren truly is the greatest of them all. <sighs> we do. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that weird? What? One against What's three? The matter, I mean, Maseo? you defeated a complete deal. Challengers, but the Emperor is alone? Because he's the Emperor. That's what's so amazing about Entrance. He has never formed a party. Not even once in his entire arena career. Is that even allowed? The arena I mean, if you can defeat them? state that parties of up to three players are allowed. Including the leader, that is. There's no rule that you can't participate by yourself. Of course, no one does that usually. It Welcome to the stream, fourth person. <laughs> it's starting! It's starting! You just got here on the best moment. Well, in the best moment, kind of. Oh, come on! He's just running away! He's not running. That's how Endrance always fights. First, he lets his opponents attack, apparently to find out if he can see through their attacks or something. Well, even so, he can't win if he never attacks, right? <sighs> I mean, if he attacks on the right moment? Kill him! <gasps> so uninteresting. She gets easily bored by this ordinary type of battle. I got the feeling that Shayna will love Endrance. It's the kind of character she will like. And Endrance is an epitaph, an epitaph user. And a cheater. They don't see it. That's right. Avatars can only be seen by a bit of users. Half users. Haseo? No. And they don't know about Epitaph users. Just go away. To me, you're nothing but ugly dolls. Why is no one questioning this? Why is no one questioning that the guy killed three players without lifting a finger? Just do. Finally, Ooh, someone the question it. You mean there's a skill that can do that? <sighs> you mean that the emperor is fucking cheating? That was absolutely amazing. Actually, no, he wasn't. He's cheating. Through, everything flew way over my head. I guess that must be how the expert players fight each other. No. It looks like you understood what happened, Haseo. That's really impressive. You did? That. Huh? That isn't a fight at all! Huh? Huh. Hey! Hey! Wait up! And I'm out of soda. Nice! Entrance is... an epitaph user? I think there I are to wait up for eight us. avatars, if I remember correctly. An epitaph user together with Ida. Why? All oh, right, it's not Ada. I it's wonder, Ida. Does GU know that Entrance is an epitaph user? And again, what does GU mean? I can't ask them after what happened. What happened? What happened? 
Ovan. Uh, Ovan. I don't care about the mail. Follow Ovan. Well, hello, Haseo. What do you mean, hello? Ovan, you better explain yourself. Didn't you say you were going to say welcome to the world again? To since then, thanks to you. I'm pretty sure you so said you that. couldn't defeat Triange. Oh, fuck you. It would seem that one cannot defeat him without stronger powers. Ah, Haseo is Yuri Lowenthal. Uh, the Did you new Spider Man. To see fight? I don't yeah. remember if I said it on the previous Just stream. Who is that guy anyway? He's chasing an insatiable dream. Dream? In a sense, Endrance is just the same as you are. Except, in his case, he has something you lack. What does that mean? Control over the avatar? I believe that Long you hair. know the answer to that better than anyone. A pet cat on his shoulder? I mean, Endrance has a lot of I things, Haseo, doesn't have. I will waiting for you. Waiting for you to... Huh? No. Wh what? Man, you and your square hands. I'll see you again, Haseo. Hey, wait! Ovan! Ovan lied to us. He said, "Hey, hey next time you. I see you, I will call. Uh, I will say welcome here? to the world." Oh, it's you. No, Don't it's you not Bo. I'm it's Saku. Who should be asking that question? Don't you dare talk to me like you know me. Who do you think you are? It's not Bo. It's Saku. Saku is my big sister. She was using this character until yesterday. Oh, you're the sister. Um, hello? What are you looking at me like that for? You a freak. Ah! Oh, I got it. You're after Master N, aren't you? Forget are you calling someone a freak after it. designing Master a lolly character? You are the freak. Are in love. And we're destined to be together forever! Who's Master N? Hmm? Hey! <laughs> you surprised me when you ran <laughs> off like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh you guys! Master N! Oh! <gasps> you widow. Either. Oh no, it's just this guy. For a second I I thought I had to fight. Man, what an asshole. Master N! Welcome! Welcome back! Thank you for showing us another spectacular fight! He doesn't really give a shit about you. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Master Standing in front of him. Too good to speak to the likes of you. He doesn't speak now to you either. Get out of here. Just saying. Tell me, who and what the hell are you? Why were you hanging around with Ida at the Lost Ground? Was that an avatar that you used in the fight just now? Maybe he doesn't even know the name of the avatars or mm. that he is an epitaph user, just that he has the power. So then you were able to see her, but nothing more than that. So you have no real power. You don't even have the heart to understand them. Seeing her doesn't change the fact that you're just someone in the crowd. <laughs> you will grow to old without ever accomplishing anything, and then you will just die and rot away into nothing. How pitiful. How truly, 
truly pitiful you are. Shut up! I don't have any real power. I'm just another face in the crowd. Who the hell are you to tell me that? I'll prove it. I'll show you power. And I'll defeat you. You? Defeat me? But how? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Ah, uh, he's gone. Impossible. Oh, well, it's no, impossible he's for you. And now he laughs again, like. <laughs> oh, it's too risky. You'll just be carried away on a. Shut on a up! What? I hate people who look down on others. Said the guy who was I looking down on others all the time. Entrance. Wow, I say, oh. You really are amazing. I'd never have the nerve. But how are you going to fight against the Emperor? Hmm. I guess you'll have to fight your way through the tournament first if you want to confront Emperor him. in yellow, tournament the in yellow tournament, for some reason. Huh? Hmm. Well, you've got a very long way ahead of you, Haseo. What yes. Do you mean? Please tell me that the tutorials are over. Well. Unlike the normal free battles in the arena, tournaments are official fights, recognized and organized by CC Corp. Those who qualify to enter must place among the top 16 registered ranker teams in each Coliseo. It'll be hard for you to get in now. Then I have to keep winning I mean, the free as long battles as it's not the Coliseum ranker, from right? Kingdom Hearts. You make it all sound so easy, Haseo. It'll you know how to work hard. You're not at least over level 20. You'll need a party too. You guys will do. <laughs> what? Us? You guys will oh, do. Oh no! No way! <laughs> wow, that that's super yeah, no. reassuring, Haseo. Gaspard gets really bad stage fright. Just thinking about being seen by lots of people makes my hands shake, and then I can't do anything at all. As for me, if you insist, I'm willing to help you out. Okay, we need one more. You know, someone with healing spells would help balance out the party. So, do you happen to know hmm. any clerics? Hmm, any clerics? Do you happen to know any clerics? I know of a single <laughs> annoying cleric wrong, that could help us. Nothing. We've got to have at least three people. You can participate with just two, right? Besides, that Master N guy fought by himself. Well, I know, but he is an exception. If I remember correctly, Endurance like is a level 50 or like something that, like that, so we are pretty no screwed. Right, we are level fine. 10 tops. I, I, I don't even think we are level member. 10 already. If you find someone, send me an invite. See you later. I love how this part runs. Huh. She's the only choice. But still. She's the only choice. Like there are no I guess I'll log out tons and try of to get some information on the, on the arena. Oh, seems I have more emails. Oh, in level ten. I thought I was lower than level ten. But still it's like forty levels over Haseo. Holy fuck, that scared me. Why did I put that on, on random? Why did I put that on random? Yeah. The team team is better. New model. The girlfriend and you. Team team boss. Team team brother. Oh, uh, male. That's fine, how are you? Uh, affection increase, nice. Thanks for the greeting card. If you give someone greeting cards, that means you are a good person, love. Today I'm going to... Hidden Werewolf. Today I got a Hidden Werewolf Tribe card when I brought a pack of the World Gummies. When I bought a pack of the World Gummies. It's a rare class that 
was only introduced during the final days in the previous version of the world. It was the last card I needed to complete my collection of 31 job classes. Oh. Werewolf? Didn't, I didn't know there was a class like that. What were their characteristics? All 31 classes? How many packs of gummies did you eat, lol? Hateo doesn't type lol. Never. So, so, this one is better. Ah, Choli. Affection increased. Thank you for the greeting card. I feel like today is going to be a great day. You've made my, you've made me so happy. You're always acting like real rough and tough character, but you're actually very polite and well mannered, aren't you? I hope I get to see the kind of has, the kind of Haseo when I'm. Ar I hope I get to see that kind of Haseo when I'm around. Let's form a party and go adventuring sometime soon. Sincerely, Atoli. About Trich. If you don't find anything about Trich, let me know. Okay, I'll keep an eye out when I'm reading. Uh, I'll keep an eye out when I'm reading the forums. Just don't expect too much from me. They have mentioned Trich like seven times already, and you didn't tell me a thing. I bet there is more information about him on the general forums rather than official forum by CC Corps. Uh, but anyways, I can't believe you actually picked a fight with the Emperor Endrance. Just watching you gave me shivers. I'm sorry, I can't help out with the arena, but I hope you find someone else. Do you know anything about Endrance? You don't have to email me if there is nothing. <laughs> Shut up, Haseo, don't be such an asshole. Another chance? Hope you'll give me another try. I'll be sure to show you around this time. The place is blurry, obsessive, a slacker. Please invite me whenever you like, I'll be with you. And I've got no choice but to invite her. But she seems like the type that'd hate fighting or stuff like the arena. What do I do? You don't have many other choices, or the game is not giving you many other choices, so... I still don't have any of the anime episodes. Just the intro of the game. I don't remember how you unlock the anime episodes. Guess I'll check out Delta Blurry. I have to invite Adelie into my party to ask about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I have to change the server first. Oh, she's here. Then let's get going, Haseo. Our destination today is Delta Blurry Obsessive Slacker. Invite me into your party. I love how convenient it is that everyone is either busy or offline, so I have to go just with Atoli. <laughs> Man, I can wait until the tutorial is over and I can check everything. Because when you finish the tutorial, this game has so much to offer, there's a lot of side quests, there's a lot of cool places you, you so can check, you can yes. choose random sure words and, and check them. I'll work hard to make up for last time's fiasco too. Well, you know what they say. Oh, speaking of, I think I mentioned it. Right? Where did I mention That's it? I, I've been watching Carnival Row and it's a, I, I just remembered Carnival Row because Atoli looks like she has wings. And I remember that Carnival Row is a really good TV show, well, uh, uh, Amazon show, that has uh, Faye. Faye are the oh, classical Iris, Fady, and she has no creatures. Interest in leveling up. These will come in handy, right? I mean, if you want to run away uh, all the time. Yeah, thanks. 
I woke up early today so I could log in and make preparations for us. It's so fun. It's almost like we're going on a picnic. It doesn't work like yeah. that. Wh whatever you say, Atoli. Seems like she's in a good mood. Maybe she'll be more willing to help with the arena than I thought. Hmm. Or probably I'll not. hurry up and get her to the beast statue, then ask her about the arena. Come on, Haseo. Let's go. Okay. This is the shortcut to the beast statue. Um, wait a second. Let's go this way, Haseo. <sighs> okay. Hmm? But isn't that a dead end? Oh, She's come on. saying to go that way. Just follow her. It isn't that difficult. Light bike. I wonder what that. Can I get to that island? No, there's no way I can get to that island. Interesting. Wait, if I ride the bike, she disappears? Oh. Poison leaf. Oh fuck. Come on. Back. Over there. It's a giant place that huh? you will never visit. And I notice it now that it has a face. It's kind of blurry. But can you tell that there's a big machine there? In it's not only yeah, just a big machine, it's also a face. Well, that big machine is called the crest gun. A long time ago, humans filled that machine with the power of the goddess Aurora and fired it at the realm of the gods. It resulted in the gods being destroyed by their own powers, and the human beings had to live with the guilt of being god killers. I know. That story's part of the world background from the official site, right? Yeah, but no one knows it that because no one reads it. Made up. But in this world, it's the truth. Even if it is fiction, the feelings of pain and sadness that we feel here in this location are in fact very real. Yeah, like hell I feel that. I'm sure that feeling in itself has meaning. Huh? I mean, the writers I felt the it, so like it has to have a meaning. That connect us to this world and each other. No, it's just you. I'm that kind of player to boring? shut up. Should I stop? Hell yeah. I love learning lore about things. Haseo? Is something wrong? Well, I don't really get it, but I guess that way of thinking might be right too. Yep. Okay, then let's go to the next spot. It's really blurry because it's a PS2 game. Soil bag arena. To be careful, not it's getting seen by these apples. Uh, I don't remember how to do anything. Uh, oh my life. I can block with a square and I have the R1 for a special attack. And I have poison for some reason. Jesus, Oh, Lisa totally is doing something. Thanks for trying to heal me. My god, these guys are really strong for the level they have. I forgot that they are surely fast and that they are pretty strong. At least Atoli knows how to block, so that's something. And I said that, of course, right before Atoli doesn't block a single attack. Blade Thorns. Cool. Another poison leaf. Uh, 
Oh, come oh, on. Oh, it's adorable. Haseo. Haseo. Look, over there on that small island. Ah, the small island we, we cannot reach. Can you tell if there are birds there? Yeah. How cute. Wish I could touch him. I just love birds. All kinds of birds. Like canaries or sparrows. You are a weirdo. In fact, I named this character Atelier after a bird. That right. What kind of bird is an Atelier? Huh? Where'd your name come from? What does it mean? Uh. The meaning? Oh, it's nothing worth talking about. Come on, say it. Oh, come on now, no fair. Tell me, I told you what mine means. <laughs> I show you mine, show me yours. They flew away. I guess our shouting scared them off. Our shouting, not yours. Uh... Maybe we should go too. Maybe Haseo should stop being an asshole <sighs> and tell you the meaning of the name. How I put up with her. Okay. Uh, key to the front, one to the left, one to the right. So front, right, left, left. Be careful with those monsters. They are really annoying. They are not a menace, but they are annoying. Oh, he was attacking Atoli. Have to be careful to see that Atoli doesn't have uh, low health. I mean, she's doing something. And this fight is going way better than the last one. So. Come on, get it! I have to wait for the stand-up animation. There is no really a, a taunt mechanic on this game. They don't follow the tank. They just attack whatever. But at least you're fighting. That is something, I guess. More blade thorns. Chim -chim. Kick the chimps. Kill it, Atoli. Symbol fragment. Mega, mega, mega grunting. Oh, I remember those assholes. No. Nope, not yet. Oh, a mix between those assholes and the lizard? That is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's do our I wanted to attack the other one. Oh, they... they died very quick. Oh, that is the annoying part. How do you block? Oh, with circle, not with a square. That's why it didn't work. For some reason, I remember those kettles being harder to kill and more annoying. Atoli leveled up. Nice. Symbol fragment and the kettles are dancing. Oh, they are so fucking weak that I believe that even Atoli could kill them. That 
was nothing. Yeah, that was nothing, but your health bar is on the middle, so you should probably <laughs> shut up, Haseo. Your health bar is half empty. Okay, that is done. That is done. Let's kill this guy. This is bad. Or not. Actually, it's very Or get destroyed. It's the same. Come on, kill it. That was nothing. Okay, Atoll is doing nothing. More monsters. Man, they really don't see shit. Don't cry later. Since I cannot do the Rengeki on them. I'll take care of this asshole and you take care of the other one. Come on, kill it, do something. I'm killing every monster, do it. Eventually she will kill it. Hand. Come on. Just one hit. Kill it again. Nice. Nice job. You did it. My god, actually. How have you survived this game this long? Symbol fragment. The door is open. Nice. Any other monsters I have to kill? Oh, a change him. World, people are supported by a steam-based culture that they have invented. The powers of steam are shared by the chimchims with people like us. That's part of the game's background. Yes, yes. and she's telling you about but it. Shut you up and listen. are currently inside of that world, right? We're both here, right now, living in the world. She's telling you to roleplay, she's telling you to forget That's about the right. real world. You shouldn't forget about things like gratitude or consideration just because we're inside of a game. I think that we have to, we need to treat this world properly and open up to it. So Haseo, have you ever met anyone in the world? You could open up to? There is a bit <sighs> too forward for the point in your relationship you are in right now. For me, that special person is actually Sakaki. Oh, you're talking about Sakaki. Okay. And you too, Haseo. Well, let's keep going. Don't think I didn't see you in the cutscene. Okay, let's go to the temple shrine or however it's called. Haseo, <sighs> so you complain a lot. Haseo? Are you tired? No. Just a little bit further. We're almost there. Let's go. Okay. It's funny how the polygons are more polished, but they look like Metal Gear Solid 1 characters. Hey, Especially the, the, the hands way. and, Haseo, come on, and come the rigging. Over here, it's this way. 
Girl, you're scaring the birds, and there is a See? mecha grunty in Isn't there. I saw it. What? Look at these flowers. Isn't you don't care nice? about the flowers. There is a like mecha grunty in there. Hasea, <sighs> what's wrong? Didn't you like it? It sure is something. <laughs> something messed up with your head, that is. I say, oh, you're I an know, asshole. isn't it? This is number 15 among my all-time recommended places. You have so 15 you have recommended places? Nope. I've got 132 oh altogether. Oh my god, Atoli. You are a weirdo. Oh, I see. He's an asshole, Let but you are a weirdo. Hmm. Oh. What is it now? A lucky animal. What? <sighs> A fucking awesome. chicken. It's the gold bird. No, Where it's a fucking chicken. Huh? You can't Haven't you played Layer of Zelda? You, you cannot it. kick a chicken. Come on, Haseo. A hundred chickens Endure. will kick you. If you get mad, there'll be no hope for the arena. Yeah, you're right. I guess it would be kind of mean to kick it. They want to be That's kicked. Right. They so thank you after you, you do it. Damn it! It's not bad to not kick. The, it, it's not bad to kick them. I they thank you after you do it. Like this is what really makes the gold bird happy. So let's just leave him alone, okay, Haseo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What Where are you, Tidus from Final Fantasy X? What is that smile and that laugh? And bye bye fucking chicken. I'm pretty sure I saw Mecha Granty somewhere. There. Oh, there's another fight in there. So, fuck, off. fuck off. Don't talk to the characters. No one wants to talk to the characters. Oh, they are all poisoned, so... Poison doesn't really affect that. You would think that they use health quicker, but... I think it only lowers their defense. Okay, ignore the main quest and go help that Mecha Granty. There's also a chest in there. And a, another fight in there? What the fuck? Oh. Hit the lizard! Hit the lizard! Ignore the others. Hit the lizard. Lizard is the, is the dangerous one. It's a trap chest. Get ready. Oh fuck, I forgot that you can get different buttons that are not a square, triangle, circle and X. And it's X, not cross. Oh well. Wonder if I have enough chim spheres for it. Course unknown. Fuel insufficient. Function shut down. Emergency landing. Passing life form detected. Begin fuel request. Beep. Chim sphere, please. Oink. Do I have enough? I have more than fucking enough, Haseo. What the fuck? Oink. Thank you for helping me. Oink. Mega, mega, Ah, and away he goes. 
Again. It seems to have crashed again, but not in this area. Something is falling. A health drink. Oh, cool. Slow. Fuck you. What the fuck do you change uh, the target? Man, they are fucking destroying us. Thank you. What's the point of having a cleric if you don't heal? Let's lower the health. Even if it is not a Rangeki. Oh, you killed it! Nice job, Atoli! I think this is done. I think I don't have to do anything else in this area. Yeah, complete. Let's go to the base statue. Sky shell. Hmm. I have to check my equipment later. It's been a while since I did it. Uh, when I'm with you, everything looks beautiful. Oh, thank you, I guess. It's really weird that the I, I I don't really know about the lore on this game, but it's really weird that the statue disappears after you get the chest. <sighs> I'm sorry. I guess we didn't gain very many experience points, did we? No, but these excursions aren't so bad every now and then. I'm so glad. I don't really care much for simple level raising. That's not why I play the game. If you're always concerned with numbers, then you won't notice all the beautiful things around you. See that, Pokemon then, players? Forget about the numbers. Shame. Enjoy the game. I mean, enjoy it your way, but let other people enjoy it too. Hey, Stop telling uh, other players to... to oh, you like, don't have the jeans and whatever. I don't care about jeans. I care about the Pokemon. No, they look haven't. cool, and that's all I, I care the about. The idea of players fighting against each other kind of scary, really. Is it? Defeating other people just so you can build up your rank? Well, to be blunt, I hate that kind of thing. But, you know, I think it would be good for you to learn a little bit more about the world. Can I ask you something, Haseo? Are you stupid? What? Do you listen to anything I say? Enjoy winning over other people? What are you talking about? Yeah, who doesn't? She doesn't. I she don't. just said it. Or rather, I've never really had a chance to win anything yet. But I do know what it feels like to lose. And how painful that can be. <sighs> this place. It was used as a quest when I just started playing. It was a time attack quest. I came in dead last because of the way I am. And everybody laughed and made fun of me. Since then, I stopped participating in competitive events. So, that's why you don't like the arena. It's I cannot really know when they are talking or where they are thinking because others, they don't move their mouth. Better weapons than others? So what is that supposed to prove? I mean, it's a dick measuring what's contest. What's the point of defeating your opponent just to show off your power? It's a dick measuring contest. Well, it's only natural for players to want to be to participate on dick measuring right? contests. Yeah, but Haseo, there's no goal in that. Personally, I think it's also really important for us to slow down and and stop. And to enjoy things like flowers blooming around your ankles. 
nice things like meeting all sorts of new people. Then play Animal Crossing. Slow down, stop and to enjoy? I mean, I'm enjoying <laughs> a lot of things about playing of, of Zelda. Like, for example, are you, an idiot? Haseo, don't be an asshole. All of this. All of this. All of this. Is nothing more than a bunch of computer data. It's just a bunch of fake stuff made by slapping textures on top of polygons. How the hell do you find any part of this made-up world beautiful? Then why do you play it? There's only one thing that's real about this world, and that's us, the players. Getting stronger and defeating your opponent. Those are the ways that all of us keep connected. Unless you play the uh, stranding, is which is a different What's way to connect that, to people. Huh? Answer me! Tell me, what's wrong with that? I, I... Leave. Huh? Damn, you're so irritating! Don't show your face again! Haseo, you're such an asshole, dude. When I first played this game, I really didn't like Haseo. I understand Damn his it. motivations now Don't that I've played the game like and I... Slow down with Shino's face. This is what he used to do with Shino and it hurts because he used to do these kind of things with her. And she's in a coma now. That's why he's angry, but still there is no, there is not a reason to be an asshole. Successful surprise attacks, <laughs> almost none. Simple necklace. Well, so much for the third player for the arena. Might as well go back to Canards at home and report. Yeah, and I will do that. On the next episode. I'm sorry lads, I'm going to say if I've been playing for two hours. Man, that one up that went out blah, 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 blah. that went by. I don't know how to speak today, but for some reason I've been speaking for two hours, so that went by really fast. I hope you enjoyed the stream. To whoever two three persons were uh, two three people were here. For some reason it's not showing me anything on the chat i don't know if it is because you didn't write anything or because i cannot see it anyway thanks for being here thanks for enjoying the the game with me and i hope i will see you on the next stream if you're watching this on youtube and want to be on the streams when they are live you just have to go to the description and you have all the links there to twitch and the social media when i where i say that i'm going live and all that and if you're watching this on Twitch and want to watch the previous streams or videos or whatever I'm making, you just have to scroll down and you have all the links to the social media and to Twitch and YouTube. And the link to Twitch is not on Twitch, it's so stupid. But I'm tired and I've been really, really tired the whole day. So, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me if my brain doesn't work today. It's really weird. And my brain is tired also. So whatever, fuck it, I don't know how to speak. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this on the phone in, and you want the links to other places like YouTube and social media, you just have to enter the channel and in one of the tabs you have the links to social media and YouTube. Or, I don't know, just look for the coffee corner on YouTube. The problem is that there are like eight coffee corners on YouTube or something like that and I'm not the first one on the list so pff, you are going to have troubles better if you use the link but you know wh however it is you can also follow me on social media and eventually you will see me posting a video I, I usually post videos every single day or try to but yeah I hope you have fun with it, and I hope I will see you on the next stream video or whatever I'm making. And I hope I will be on better condition. 
and I will know how to talk on the next video stream, whatever I'm doing, because I'm having so much trouble talking right now on any language, because Spanish is, is also not working right now. I'm not working properly. Maybe it's because I've been sleeping poorly or resting poorly this week or eating really poorly this week. I don't fucking know. Anyway, I've been saying goodbye for like five minutes. Bye, until the next time, see ya.